What's up? Cameron, what's your favorite quote from this class? Favorite quote from this class? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> going now than I definitely was before, like 14 years old, getting signed up for this class, even though initially I didn't want to. But then I thought about it, I was like, I could, I could do that, like, I could interview people and get out of my comfort zone a little, so now it's easier to do those kinds of things. Ashlana. Stop! I'm Are not crying! <laughs> I love you so much. You're not even Ashlyn anymore. You're Ash Hole, no matter where we are. <laughs> I enjoyed watching 16 Candles with you. I love you so much, and I know you're going to do great things in life. I don't know. I really don't feel like much of an editor to anybody in this class, because I feel like we're all pretty much equal, which that's the hard thing. I'm trying to be like assertive with people that I feel like are my equals artistically, I guess. Alice, I want to say thank you for always coming to see me at work and making this class so bright with your weird comments and your hilarious jokes. I love you a lot and I think you're going to do great things. Alice, I just want to say that you're just the biggest dork I know and like you secretly pretend like you hate me but I know you don't because you do things and we like sometimes we'll make eye contact like oh yeah we totally agree on that you know. We just make eye contact sometimes and we're like, yeah. Brooke, I feel like you're like my little sister sometimes and I love your style. I love how you're always happy and I can't wait to see what you do your senior year. Brooke, 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 Brooke. I really like the brownies you make. That was just something that's nice. You know, you always bring in brownies and um, I think you're a hard worker and that you're gonna um, succeed in this class in the future. And, I think that hard work is just going to get you farther in life anyways. Maggie, we haven't gotten as close as what I'd like to, but you're so cute and I think you're going to go very far. Maggie, I'm sorry that I have called you Paige so many times. It's an honest mistake. I'm not doing it to be a jerk. I just, and you just look like a Paige. And one might say that you'll always be Paige in my heart. And yeah. You're just Paige to me now. I'm sorry that we didn't get to know each other better, but it's been cool like getting to see you grow up in this class and kind of watch your skills develop more and more. And uh, I know by your senior year you're gonna do a lot of cool things. Cam Ivy, I love you so much. We grew up together in this class and you've got gone so far with this. You've done such good things and I love you and I'm gonna miss you and I can't believe you. Already, we're already seniors. Zara, I am still really salty about the banana pudding thing and I don't think I'll ever forget it. And yes, it was really gross, but I'm actually kind of glad you did it because I, it's like something I tell at parties now. I'm like, so this one time this girl put mayonnaise in a banana pudding and it was really gross. <laughs> uh, pranked, you pranked me. Good job, Zara. Uh, but really, you're a really cool person and I think you're just super creative and I think you're gonna do a lot of good things. Zara, you're very creative and artistic, and I know that you're going to do great things in this class, and you're going to be a great leader to the younger classmen. Free. <laughs> Free. <laughs> Free is the best. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bree, you're the best person in the world. I love you so much. You have such a positive outlook on life, and you always remind me to let go and let God. Um, thank you for being such a good friend to me, and I hope we stay in touch. Brie, I just, you're so, like, lovable, and you sh actually really surprised me because, like, the first week of school, I feel like you didn't talk at all in this class, and then, like, out of nowhere, you just were like, I'm Brie, and I talk, and I was like, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> like, that's cool that you talk, and that you actually... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> she talks just like that? Yeah, she talks, she, <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I just mean that, like, you're actually a lot more cool than I thought you were going to be, and, like, it's so cool that, to, like, get to know you and that how, like, you're, like, even though you like country music, you're still a really cool person. Cameron, you are my best friend, and 
I love you so much, and I never thought we would get as close as we have. And here's Cameron on her first day of school. I'm so glad that you tell me about your life. Like, sometimes it doesn't seem like I'm listening or that I don't care, but I actually do, and I'm just like, I'm just like taking it all in, you know, because I just love getting, like, I love you, tell, you telling me everything. And I just, um, you know, the Panic at the, the Disco box really, really did it for me. I was like, yep, this is a friendship that I want to keep forever, and so, Thank you for being my friend, and I know we're going to be friends for a really long time. Hello. So, Tiff. Hello, here you are. I remember freshman year where little Tykes in this class, like, afraid of everything. And, um, I feel like not many people would know that, um, we're friends on this level just because they don't really have this class together. But, um... I think more than anybody, you've like really shown me how to be more outgoing and like <laughs> get out there and talk to more people about things and plus you dress cute. Tiffany, I love you so much and um, you just have this like magnetic personality where it's like it's impossible not to like you like even if somebody didn't want to like you they still would have to because you're just tip and like you are just so nice to everyone you meet and you just do the most like you're just you have the biggest heart and i just you're just so sweet and i just like met like you're such like a magnetic pull like i just knew that we were gonna be friends and i'm so glad that we have gotten to be friends and i just i just love you love me girl <laughs> Mitchie. <laughs> Michelle, I love you so much. I just, I'm so glad that I'm like, have befriended you because I just feel like I can tell you anything and I can vent to you about anything and you just agree with me and you just understand me. Like, you just get me so well and like, you're just so supportive and you're just such a good friend to people and I think that that is such a great quality to have is just like being such a good friend to everybody you know. This thing at the beginning of the year, if you guys remember that. So, always keeping it. And then, I cut up my birthday card <laughs> to put it in here like this. So I can always look at it and kind of feel better because some cute things done. I want everybody in here to do the best they can possibly do and I know because I wanted that for myself and I just want you guys to just know know that whatever you end up doing in life it's not it's not gonna affect the person you are. What's the difference between vertical and horizontal? This is my favorite quote. <laughs> Tiffany, what's the difference between vertical and horizontal? Word horizon. <laughs> Why am I stuttering? Why did you say horizon? I said horizontal, not horizon. Horizontal, like the horizon. Vertical, like a vertex. <laughs> <laughs>